hope you're doing okay. I put this video together to try to help you with using Google Slides properly. The principles apply to any presentation software though, so PowerPoint will work in pretty much the same way. The whole point of this task isn't about the content, it's about how it looks. So what we're looking for is that you follow the rules of a good presentation rather than just putting images in to tick a box to say you've got a picture in. A good presentation is a presentation that does not have a lot of text on it. This is because presentations are usually given to a hall full of people. The people who are sat right at the back need to be able to read and see the slides just as well as the people at the front. So one big problem that people make when putting together a presentation is they put paragraphs and paragraphs of tiny, tiny writing on. You shouldn't be doing that. The main part of your slide should be the title, a very small number of key bullet points that are summarised, not full sentences, and a large image, chart or video. The whole point of this lesson is to make a good looking presentation. The content of the presentation can be anything you want. So your favourite football team, your favourite sport, your favourite band, any hobbies or interests that you have. We're not bothered about the content. What we're bothered about is what it looks like. So this video will explain the different things and go through each of the red, amber and green parts of the task. Everyone really should be able to definitely do the red parts pretty easily. The amber parts everyone should have a go at and the green parts, if you're feeling up for the challenge, is a really good skill that you will definitely need in the future. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is open Google Slides. There are loads of different ways you can do this. I like to click on the nine little dots in the top right hand corner and scroll down and click on Slides. When this opens, you're gonna get a lot of different options. But what we want you to do for this task is create a blank presentation. So if we click on that, when it loads, the first thing you should always do with a new file is give it a sensible name. So I'm gonna make my presentation about places that I want to visit. So that's what I'm gonna call it. What you then need to do is choose a theme. So you can scroll down and choose one that you like the look of. I'm gonna go with this one. We're asking you to make a presentation that is five slides long. So a good starting place is to add the five slides in. On the first slide, it needs to be a title. And generally a good rule of thumb is to put who the presentation is by. And then what I'm going to do first off is give all of my slides titles. So one of the requirements of this task is that each slide should have its own title. OK, once all my slides have got titles, I'm going to now start writing using bullet points. So your bullet points should be short and concise. They shouldn't be long, wordy paragraphs. Just a really brief summary. What you've got to remember is, is the person giving this presentation would be stood in front of it and they'd be actually talking the points through. The points are there almost as a summary or a reminder to the person giving the presentation as to what they should be saying. Then you need to go to insert and video. What Slides does is it lets you search YouTube within Slides, put a video in your presentation. What you need to pay attention to is how long the videos are for. So the video I have chosen is six minutes long. When Slides then inserts the video, you've got some video playback options down the side. So instead of just having the entire video playing, what you can actually do is set it to start and stop at appropriate points. OK, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in some tr slide transitions. So that is how one slide moves to the next slide. So what you can do is pick one that you like the look at and click apply to all slides and that will apply to all of the slides for you automatically. OK, so for this slide, I'm going to start again by putting my bullet point list in. But this time I'm going to insert an image. So to do this, I'm going to search Google and copy and paste. And then I'm going to resize the image. Because if you remember, the presentation is supposed to be visual. It's not supposed to be very wordy. So the images, the videos, should, the charts, they should all be bigger or more impactful than the writing. OK, on this slide, I'm going to insert a chart and I'm going to insert a pie chart. Now, the way Google Slides does this is it secretly behind the scenes makes a second file called a Sheets file. Sheets is used for data and charts. So if I click on the little link there, I can open up the source because obviously the chart it's made me is about points being scored and that's not that useful. What I'm first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename my chart because points scored isn't useful to me. I'm going to call it reasons I want to visit Iceland. 
And then what I need to do is I need to rename these different sections. OK, so I've scrolled up to the top so I can see where the date is coming from. And I'm going to rename these to the reasons why I want to visit Iceland. What you can then do is if you go back to your presentation, a little update button should appear and that will update your chart. Obviously, it's a bit big now, so I'm going to want to resize it to be about the same size as the image and the video on the other slide. So it all fits together. And then I'm going to need to pop some bullet points on the side there. You can see I've spelled scenery wrong. So one thing you should always do in a presentation is correct your spelling mistakes. So I'm going to go on that and correct it. And what that probably already means as well is that I've spelt it wrong there. So I'm going to correct it there as well. And then here I am right clicking on my image and adding an animation. And I'm checking what it looks like by pressing the play button. So that is how the slide fades on. And this one at the minute you can see it's set to only come on when I click on the slide. And that's a little bit annoying. So I'm going to change that so it comes on automatically. OK, so the slide and it automatically zooms in and that's much better. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the slide master. Now, I don't really like the font choices and the colours that this theme automatically gave me. So by editing the slide master, it's going to automatically update all of the slides in one go. So you need to be careful to make sure that you've clicked on the top slide that says master and any changes you make here to the fonts and the colours, it's going to automatically apply them to all slides in your presentation. So for this part here, I'm going to change the background colour to match that kind of bluey colour. And I'm going to do the same on the next one, just so it's all consistent. And then I'm going to go and change the main font because I don't really like that either. So I'm going to press Ctrl and A to select everything and change it and then also make it black so it's easier to read. I'm going to put a little board around the text as well. I'm going to make that the same shade of blue. And then I'm going to resize it so that the text box actually only takes up half of the slide. And that leaves enough room for my images, my charts and my video. OK, so you can see now that it has automatically applied that to every single slide. It saved, saved me a lot of time. Now, if I'd have done this first, the text boxes would automatically all be sized properly. But because I did this at the end, it's made me more work. So what I'm going to need to do now is go through the slides and resize things so that it looks more professional. A professional presentation would be that everything is consistent. So I'm now just resizing and placing the different elements on the slides so that it looks aligned better. OK, changing my fonts also let me realise that I've put a capital C in for Iceland because the old font was all in capital letters anyway. So I'm going to need to change that. And then I'm going to need to fiddle with this one as well. You can see that Google Slides tries to be helpful and it puts the little lines on so you know when your position you know when your elements are positioned neatly and so you know when your elements are positioned neatly. OK, so just to re reiterate, the whole point of this isn't just to reiterate, the whole point of this isn't really the content. You need to have five slides. Each slide needs a title and some text in a bullet point list. Each slide should also have either an image, a video or a chart. And the image, the video or the chart should be the main focal point of the slide. It shouldn't look like it's been shoved in as an afterthought.